Today on Radical Toys, we're going to be taking a look at Masters of the Universe, Revelation, Masterverse, Skeletor by the folks over at Mattel. Alright, we are on wave one. We are taking a look at Skeletor. And we're going to take our He-Man sword as usual and we're going to go ahead, we're going to dive right onto this package, see what's going on. So... At the top here, of course, as usual, 30 points of articulation here. We've got our barcode in the side, and of course you will see all this clip language as we bend this on down, so you guys can kind of see that there. Looks pretty good. And of course, ages 6 and up, Netflix original series. So of course, if you haven't seen these, if you haven't seen the show yet, go ahead and check it out because these toys are based off of the show. And there you have it. As we look on down, Masters of the Universe Revelation Skeletor logo, and of course our Mattel logo in the bottom right hand corner. Flip her over to the side, and wow, we're treated with a nice piece of artwork of Skeletor there. I like this piece of artwork. Actually based my animation intro, as you've seen, based off of this piece, and I actually really like that. I was pretty impressed with it. And, of course, we've got a little creature going on here. I don't know who this is. I was originally going to say Batros, but I'm like, no, nah, that ain't him. I don't know who that is, actually. Some sort of creature. And you've got that nice ram skull going on there at the bottom. Now, this looks really interesting because this looks like a little bit of flame, and it, but it also looks like Moss Man, like little pieces of Moss Man. Like, I think that was a hint. <laughs> but we'll have to... Uh, at least that's my take on it. As we look on the side here, we see Skeletor, Evil Lord of Destruction. And of course, as we flip on the back here, we can see Skeletor once again looking pretty good there. Evil Lord of Destruction. We can see our Snake Mountain up here in the right-hand corner. And as we look on down here, we've got He-Man, Moss Man, Skeletor himself, Evil Inn, also available in this wave. And of course, Mattel, empowering the next generation through play. And, of course, the bottom is just, of course, your barcodes and whatnot. Nothing too fancy schmancy about that. And there you have it. There's our package. Now, I like these packages. I will say it time and time again because you can take them out, put them on, put your characters on display. Once you're done, you can put them right on back in these packages if you decide to choose to keep the packages themselves. And there you have it. So, let's get Skeletor out of his package. Let's see what's going on because I'm curious to see what he, what's so different about him compared to the other waves and lines that we have seen um, Skeletor in the past. So hold on guys, I will be right back. And here we are taking a look at Skeletor from Revelations. We got him stripped down, we're going to go ahead and we're going to check out his sculpt first, see what's going on, first impressions. I like it, I like the plastic. The face is starting to grow on me, but let's go ahead, let's get into this. So, as we look down here, we can kind of see a very clean face sculpt. Now, uh, it's not yellow, I wish it was yellow. However, it is nice and clean. The teeth are painted nice and clean. The inside of the eyes sockets are nice and black, so inside the nose as well. And it looks like there's a little bit of tiny wash going around in certain little areas. Almost not noticeable. It's um, very good. It's just, do you like the way the face looks? It's kind of like um, what I was thinking with He-Man. Uh, I just don't know how I feel about it. It's, it's growing on me. Well, I'll say it's growing on me more than the He-Man face sculpt is for sure. And, of course, the hood is done in a purple plastic. Let's see. And his head came off nice and easy. Kind of see the inside going on there. It looks pretty good. His head pops on and off. He's got that nice ball joint going on there, of course, what we would expect to see. And as we get down to the torso, 
we are once again treated with the same idea with the um, you got some texture and pattern going all the way down to his waist but nothing on the arms so it's like a flat mat on the arms but more of a shiny glare on the chest now it's not that noticeable uh, from a distance but up close you can you can certainly see it and as we get down here we've got a nice purple belt I like this I like I like how they uh, interpreted this it looks really good and I like the cloth here or sash whatever you want to call it it's done in a black plastic it's rubbery it's nice and soft it's easy going nothing too hard about it and it even has like this wash going on you can kind of see it with the camera there like it's like a purple wash like stripes or something going on i'm not sure why they did it it doesn't look horrible i'm just not sure the reasoning behind it and it's all the way around them too you can kind of see it there as we look underneath the loincloth once again same idea we've got a pattern going on here like a uh, details uh it's just so strange that you can see it on the chest underneath the loincloth but nothing on his arms or his legs so i'm not sure why they opted to do that it's not horrible though i don't, I don't seem to mind it so uh we get to the arms here the same idea we got those at least they went and they stuck with that, you know, traditional type of look with the fins on his arm there. At least they sculpted those in. I like that. I like that they did that. It looks pretty good. Uh, same idea with the back. It basically looks like your standard He-Man Revelation buck is what this looks like. It looks like this part is definitely shared, I would have to say. And uh, I would say probably the biceps are, but definitely not here. These are definitely different. And the hands look like they're different as well. A nice sculpt. They got a nice black going on the hands there for the nails. They're nice and painted straight. Get down to the legs. And we get down here to the um, shin guards or whatever. Um, mine don't seem to be all that tight, but it's not super loose either. It just feels really strange. And it's done in a purple, nice dark purple plastic and as we get down we see that nice webbed foot or you know a demon type of feet that he would traditionally sport and he's got the nice black long nails there that are painted looks good bottom of the foot even has a little bit of detail going on down there with of course the peg hole so that you can uh, plug them into something if we ever get a vehicle or accessory play set down the road and that's basically a sculpt. So let's go ahead. Let's run down his articulation. So a lot of it's probably going to be what you expected to see, uh, judging by the He-Man Revelation figure. So, of course, he's on the ball joint. Looks all the way around. Um, he can look down a little bit. He can look up quite well. Not too bad. And the arms can go straight on out. Not too, too bad. It looks good. Now, there is like a, this is kind of strange because you can't get the arms to go straight on out because of how these double joints are sculpted. It He always has this permanent bend going on here in the arm. So, I don't know. It's not a horrible thing. It's just odd. Like, I can kind of get like a, kind of get it straight, but not fully all the way. There's always going to be like this curve going on there. So, I just thought it was interesting to note. You can uh, twist this around at the shoulders and, of course, the biceps swivel. And, of course, we got that lovely no-pin joint double elbow bend going on there. It looks great. I absolutely love that. You can bend that pretty good. And, of course, wrist swivel. And you can bend it inwards and outwards. And that's the same. No aloft pose for Skeletor. Sorry, buddy. If you man don't got it, you ain't got it. And, of course, at the legs, they can go out. Now, the sash doesn't really seem to hinder too much because it's, you know, it's nice and bendable plastic. It uh, doesn't seem to really hinder them that much at all. So, I'm really happy how they did this. I like how they did it. And at the top there, you can swivel that around at the uh, knee joint. Oh, so sweet double joint there. Looks great. No pin. So pinless joint. I mean, you can bend his legs in such weird, strange ways. 
And of course at the boot cut you can swivel that around and the ankle has got that rocker. You can rock that all the way around and of course the hinge forwards backwards. What you would expect to see in a foot joint of course. And I'm trying to get this guy back to the way I had him. There we go. Loving this plastic. It's kind of like in a blue plastic here too. It's kind of like a matte blue. I just like it. It's pretty cool. Alright. Now I find one thing is strange about it. Like when I try to push the legs in, it wants to push back out. <laughs> it's kind of interesting to note that. So there you have it. And let's go ahead. Let's take a look at his accessories. If I can get him to stand up for about two seconds. Stay. Don't move. So we got a slur of accessories here. Now, again, not everything's an accessory. I just like to call them accessories because I can take it off as person. If I can take it off as person, that's an accessory to me. But we'll go ahead and we will start with the back piece of the cloth. Now, this is done in a, um, it's just a fabric. But you know what? I thought I was going to hate this. I thought, you know what? I I'm not going to like that. It's kind of got like that velvet or whatever type of feeling to it it's pretty cool i don't seem to mind it it's not that cheap it's pretty durable pretty sturdy i like it i'm happy with it i'm not you know against it or anything i don't mind some cloth goods they're starting to grow on me and of course the two pieces of the harness there so this is done in like a really deep deep blue like i don't want to say purple it's more like a deep blue i guess you could call it and that's what it's sculpted in but of course you've got some paint apps going on in the center so we got a marble purple going on there and of course a lighter purple for the bones now this piece is the piece that i really like i just love this detail i like how these got um sculpted out and spread I just really like that, so it's done in a kind of like a vibrant purple going on there and a other darker type of purple. It looks pretty good. I just love it. I like that whole bat symbol going on in the center. Now these will kind of go together like that, but we'll go ahead and we will put it on Skeletor. Now I wish that they would have opted to do this just as one piece. I would have preferred it that way rather than two separate pieces, but I guess they did that because probably because of the cape so let's take the head off of him and i believe you put the cape on first and then you'll put this piece of the harness on next or am i wrong no i'm right okay so yeah and then you go ahead and you strap it together maybe i am wrong yes okay I got this wrong. <laughs> I'm trying to like figure this out. Okay, so you put this piece on first, strap it together. It's got like a, you know, just a hole and a peg, and you just plug it in there. Punch that together, and you got another one that goes over it. And you can peg that, and it actually pegs in really good. I'm just having a hard time doing it, but it will peg in. There you go. Pegs in nice and good stays now i believe you put the cape on next let me see if that works and then the harness i think i could totally be wrong here <laughs> i think i'm right this time yes i believe so i believe i am and then pop the head back on and there you have it there is our Skeletor's harness. Now he's looking more and more like Skeletor. And now that he's got that on. Same idea with like uh, He-Man. It looks like these need to be lower. It just feels like they're not... Um, it feels like they're just... They're not low enough. I don't know. But it's not horrible. I, I, can, get used, I can certainly get used to it. And that's that. Now he comes with two hands. He's got that 
Now, I originally called these the Skeletor Slapping Hands, but this is the hand that you would use if he had a shield, because He-Man's got one, and it fits perfectly in with the shield, but he doesn't come with the shield, so why is he coming with the shield hand? I don't know. It is what it is, I guess. And, of course, he's got a fist, so it's basically the same idea accessories that He-Man gets, because he gets the same idea. And, of course, these can plug right on out, and you can plug them right in. And I th the thing I like about these figures here is they're so easy to pull in and pull out. You don't got to fight with them, and they stay in very well. So, I'm happy about that. I'll give credit where credit is due. I was actually really surprised on how easy they are to come out and come in. For mine, anyway. I don't know about you guys or if anyone else that has them. Uh, of course, now we'll go ahead and we will look at the shaping staff. So the shaping staff is done in a kind of looks like a kind of like a flat. I don't want to say a flat mat. Um, it's almost like a pearl type of idea. Not quite, quite in, in between a mat and a pearl type of plastic. And it's sculpted really good. It's gold. It looks pretty good there. And of course the shaping staff is to transform him. So if you watch the show, specifically episode one, you will see the shaping staff. And he can fit it in his hand. And you should actually be able to double hand it too if you want because of how great those double joints are. So it works really well. And that is the shaping staff. And next up we've got his traditional Havoc staff. Well, that's what I call it, it's the Havoc Staff, but I know it's like the Ram Head or whatever. And it is done in a pearlish type of plastic for the hilt and handle. It's got some nice sculpts going on there. And for the Ram Head, it looks like it's kind of painted in a dark purple and looks like it's sculpted in a lighter purple with a wash going around it. And of course, the black eyes there is a very matte black. It looks really good. Nice and straight, well done. Now here's another thing about this, which would have been a nod or a um, hint to the show, but you wouldn't know it at first. Um, I think some people don't even realize that you can do this, but you can pull this apart. It comes right off. So if you watch the show, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about, why you can do that. I won't spoil it for anybody but you should have watched the show by now if you haven't go watch it and yeah so that's that you can take that apart put that back together and of course it will fit in his hands so there is some nods to the show but you just wouldn't we wouldn't really realize it or notice it until after we watch the show and it's like oh okay so that's why they did that that's why the head comes off it's pretty interesting and so there you have it. Now, I find this foot is a little loose on mine. It's not horribly loose, but if I have any type of weight in his hands or anything like that, then I then I tend to notice that it is indeed a little bit loose, unfortunately. So you got to get him in, unfortunately, with my Skeletor, I got to get him in that sweet spot. If I don't get him in that sweet spot, he just knocks, he just falls right on over. There, there's a sweet spot. It will have to do. And of course, next we will do a comparison. So actually, let's go ahead and take that out of his hand for a minute. There's a reason why I'm doing that. Oh, I probably won't get him stood back up. There we go. Yeah, stand, stand, stand. Okay, so here we go. We will bring in our battle armor Skeletor. So there's that. Now you watch, I can't even stand this guy up. There he is. Standing up funky. And of course we'll bring in one more. And that is our, our filmation. The Ultimate Super 7 Skeletor, so we got some differences going on here. And I'm not even going to bother anymore because I keep falling. <laughs> but here we go. We'll use this Skeletor as our main one for our comparison here. So here is our front view going on. 
here is our side view and our back view. Pretty interesting. Isn't that quite the difference though, going from this to this? Quite different. And the Skeletor as well. So we got some interesting stuff going on here. Now, why not do a little comparison of the Havoc staffs to kind of get an idea of what they look like. So here is our Super 7 staff. We've got our Origin staff which is also the same basically as the vintage one and of course we've got our revelation staff so there's our ram heads pretty interesting guys what do you guys think there's our differences quite the difference between all of them which one is your favorite i don't know i'm kind of torn between the revelation one and the filmation version they both look pretty cool i like them and there you have it. There is our Revelations Skeletor, guys. What do you think of this guy? Final thoughts? I like him. He's growing on me. Um, I like him more than I like Mossman. Mossman was my least favorite. Um, he looks like Skeletor to me, so I guess I can't really complain. The s Would have been nice to get a extra head... Or uh, like a replaceable head. One where he's not smiling. I think that would have been kind of cool to have. But all in all, I'm still very happy with him. He's still an okay character. And I will continue to support the line as long as I possibly can. Because I like Masters of the Universe and I want to see it grow. So, that's it guys. Thanks a lot. That is this review. Stay tuned in for the next one. Because we've got some more coming. And uh, as always, thanks a lot. And